this is how I create my video. First of all, I will open my PowerPoint slide. And then I will open the Panopto software, which I have already downloaded and installed in my PC. Sign in to unitan.hosted.panopto.com. Click sign in. Your default browser will pop up. And we need to sign into Moodle Tube. Put in your username and password. That is the same as your email or Moodle account. Click login. You are now ready to present your slide. Click the record button and wait until Panopto is recording. Go to your PowerPoint slide and start presenting. Start presenting and move the cursor to gain the student's attention. I like to change my cursor to a laser pointer in this PowerPoint slide. This will make the student easier to see the cursor and gain student's attention on which part of the slide that I am discussing at the moment. Use the enter button to move from one slide to the other. Once you are finished presenting your slides, right click on your mouse and then click and show. Click stop recording button in the Panopto video. Change the title. In this case, I put in topic 1 and click save. Wait for the video to be processed and uploaded in the Panopto. In your browser, go to panopto.com, sign in using our Uniten email at uniten.edu.my and click next. Click University Tenaga National and go to my folder. You will see topic 1 is actually in process. Once ready, you can click on the title, Topic 1, and then this is going to be the view that you your student will be seeing. Okay, now to share this video, click share and then change who will have the access to this video. In this case, I uh, choose this option, anyone at your organization. And we have two options here in order to share the video. It's either using this link, hyperlink or using this embed code. So I copy the embed code and then go to my Moodle page. I go to my course. I click turn editing on and I choose which, which section that I need to put the video which is currently in week 4. I choose add activity which is going to be adding label. I click the toggle button and then I paste the video at the HTML source editor. So now the video is in the Moodle page.